Hey, what's up guys? It's Joseph Rojas and I wanted to encourage you for a couple of minutes and read something out of Philippians and it's chapter 2 verse 5 and it says, Your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And every time I hear this preached, I well, not every time, but a lot of times I hear this preached and, and it usually starts at, and we love to talk about how Jesus is given a name above every name and the mighty name of Jesus. And, and it's true, there's power in the name of Jesus Christ, but there was more to the story. A lot of times we start with the exaltation, but he was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And, and so many times I've heard it started where he was exalted and given a name, but man, it says he humbled himself. He was a servant. And this very Bible is telling us that we need to have, when we're talking about being a Christian, we're talking about being uh, like Christ, Christ-minded. And so um, I just wanted to encourage you this morning that not only did Jesus Christ die for your sins, but on the third day he rose again and he was exalted and he was given a name above every name. He's alive today and seated at the right hand of the Father, but he humbled himself first. And so, you know, I feel like that's the attitude that we should all have, but forget my feelings. The Bible says that's the attitude that we should all have. So, you know, this Easter weekend, man, love your family. We're going through a difficult time, all of us. And at the end of the day, we know that God is on the throne, that Jesus rose again on the third day, and he is not thrown off by a coronavirus. You can trust in him. God bless you.